British police braced for further anti-Muslim riots on Wednesday as far-right groups pledged to target asylum centers in immigration law firms across the country, prompting anti-fascist protesters to plan counter-demonstrations. Britain has been gripped by an escalating wave of violence that erupted early last week when three young girls were killed in a knife attack in northwest Britain, triggering a wave of false messaging online that wrongly identified the suspected killer as an Islamist migrant. Prime Minister Keir Starmer, a former chief prosecutor who is facing his first crisis since winning a July 4th election, has warned rioters they will face lengthy jail terms as he sought to stamp out the worst outbreak of violence in Britain in 13 years. They will be safe. We are doing everything we can to ensure that a police response is in place where needed and that support is in place for particular places. In towns and cities, groups of a few hundred rioters have clashed with police and smashed windows of hotels housing asylum seekers from Africa and the Middle East, chanting, get them out and stop the boats, a reference to those arriving in Britain in small dinghies. They have also pelted mosques with rocks, terrifying local communities, including ethnic minorities who have felt targeted by the violence. Messages online said immigration centers and law firms aiding migrants would be hit on Wednesday, with one post saying, Wednesday night lads, they won't stop coming until you tell them. In response, anti-racism and anti-fascist groups organized counter demonstrations in towns and cities across the country. One typical post about a planned far-right protest in the southern coastal city of Brighton said racist scum are trying to target an immigration lawyer's office. We won't let it happen. Wear face coverings and face masks. The government has put together a so-called standing army of 6,000 specialist police officers to respond to any outbreaks of violence and say they will have a significant enough presence to deal with any unrest. This country is faced with one of the worst spates of violent disorder in the last decade, Deputy Assistant Commissioner Andy Valentine, who is in charge of the policing operation in London, said, We will not tolerate this on our streets. We will use every power, tactic, and tool available to prevent further scenes of disorder. Starmer has vowed a reckoning for those caught rioting, looting shops, and burning cars. He said more than 400 people had been arrested, 100 had been charged, and he expected sentencing to start soon.